Hi class, my name is Matt Shields and I'm going to be your physics instructor for this semester. Um, I want to shoot a quick video to introduce the class and introduce myself. Uh, but before I do that, I wanted to say thank you. You guys are our post back students. That means you guys are headed off to med school, hopefully. And I just want to say that's awesome. Um, in the last few months, I think all of us have come to understand healthcare professionals as essential and as essentially heroes. Uh, so whatever led you to the decision to head off down the difficult road of uh, becoming a medical professional, thank you. Um, I'm honored to be your physics instructor. Um, okay, a little bit about the class. Uh, I want to shoot this video mainly because I, I'm assuming right now class starts in five days. I'm assuming right now you're wondering, do I even have a physics instructor? Is there a physics class? I don't think my collab site is up yet. I just got my UVA email yesterday. Um, so I want to, I, I first want to just... Um, let you know, rest assured, there is a class, I have a syllabus, and this class is going to be awesome. So please rest assured, um, you're going to crush the physics section of the MCATs for sure. Um, I was looking, I've been looking through this uh, MCAT review sheet. Um, you can be thankful I'm not your chemistry teacher. Um, none of these symbols or, or equations make any sense to me. Um, but when we get to the physics stuff, yeah, this stuff's crazy, all that. Uh, when we get to the physics stuff, um, this is going to be awesome. I'm, I'm excited to be your physics teacher. Uh, this is this is going to be great. You guys are going to crush physics. I don't know why uh, they think that uh, doctors need to know projectile motion or um, sound waves in an open pipe. Maybe that has something to do with like ear canals, canals or something. But um, yeah, it, the, the course is going to be great. I've been, um, shoot, there, that's my calendar. Um, the course is going to be great. I've been teaching physics for decades. Uh, I've taught physics at every level from remedial high school kids that just need to pass a science class in order to graduate um, to UVA. I taught physics to physics majors. That was a tough crowd um, and everything in between. Um, most of my time is spent teaching AP physics at the high school level. Uh, my PhD is actually in curriculum and instruction and I've spent most of my adult life trying to figure out how to best teach. Um, and that's actually one of the reasons I'm installing over the last few weeks is because um, this is a new world and uh, the whole world of Zoom and virtual learning is, is gonna be nuts. I should maybe tell you just in case you didn't hear, it's not, I don't know where it's publicly available. Uh, I am gonna do this course on Zoom, which is a huge bummer. Um, I was super excited to be back on grounds. I went to UVA, uh, I went to UVA four times actually. Um, and I love UVA, I love grounds, I love the physics building, everything about it. Um, I was super excited about, but Basically, um, my parents live in town and my, my, my next door neighbor I hang out with a lot and they're all over 70 and uh, you UVA kids are, you college students are gross. Um, if <laughs> if uh, North Carolina and, and Notre Dame are any uh, indication. So um, I can't hang out with you guys personally, but that's a bummer because I was really excited to see you. I actually, I can't make it to the barbecue tomorrow. I'm gonna be out of town with my parents. Um, but uh, so I'm trying to figure out how to best do instruction on Zoom. And one of the things I'll tell you as an expert in curriculum instruction is I'm actually a little bit excited uh, about this whole new world. I think school um, was not awesome the way we did it with people in, in desks listening to lectures. Um, one of my mantras over the last few years has been that um, direct lecture was a great method of instruction until about, I don't know, 30 years ago, whenever they invented the internet. And all of human knowledge is now in our pockets and why am I lecturing at you? And so um, I'm kind of excited that Zoom or that coronavirus, I'm not excited about coronavirus, but I'm excited that the world of education has been forced to kind of question how they deliver instruction, which is also one of the reasons I haven't put a textbook up in the bookstore yet. Um, I'm gonna do that today. Um, it's not required. Um, I, uh, if, I'm assuming some of you guys, if you're headed off to med school are like nerdy overachievers, um, which I, I respect, and maybe you want a textbook to like read ahead and put little like colored tabs and stuff on the side. Um, if you want to do that, I will suggest a textbook that uh, has been used for this course for years. Um, but also just something, if you've ever taken one of my courses, I usually at some point rail against what I call the epistemology of the textbook. Epistemology is how we organize information and a, a bunch of pages divided into units and chapters with like questions at the end, a little colored boxes for like women and minorities. Uh, and a hard cover on the front and back is not a good way to organize information. Uh, it was until we invented the internet, and now it's just not. Uh, one of my least favorite things about putting a hard cover 
on the front and the back of a physics textbook is it sort of indicates that there were done, that physics is contained in these thousand pages or whatever. Um, that's definitely not true. Um, I'm excited to talk to you about physics. We'll get more into that in a second, but um, yeah, it's just not over. Like it's, it's an ongoing and a live field. And so um, that part about it is difficult. And also, um, yeah, so if you wanna read little chapters about all the, the sec, what we're gonna talk about this semester, uh, I will suggest the textbook and I'll suggest uh, readings for you, but also you can just Google it. Um, there's so much great stuff out there. Other instructors talking about it, demonstrations, YouTube videos. So um, there's just a lot of great content online um, because the, the topics that we're gonna talk about this semester are very like classic physics topics. So when, if you wanted to Google projectile motion, there's just a million videos and a bunch of great content online about that. So anyway, I'll, I'll try to facilitate and kind of curate some things, but I don't think the textbooks can be required. Okay, physics. Um, mainly, I'm ex I, I hope you guys will join me in just loving physics as mankind's attempt to understand the universe in which he is situated and the elegant laws that undergird it. Um, I hope that you guys just will, lo will love physics as it, it gives you a picture of the world and like helps you, I think, give you a more robust and joy and rich time in it. Um, but also I understand that you've got an MCAT that you got to cram for. So um, we're gonna try to kind of have a foot in both worlds where uh, we're, we're looking very specifically at um, the topics and the types of questions that the testing people will ask you. But that's just not a really fun way to learn is, so they're gonna ask you this, you're gonna wanna, you know, and when they ask you this, make sure you say this. That's, that's not as much fun, but I also understand you're trying to get uh, in that med school. So we'll do that, but also I hope you'll just join me in, in, in loving physics. Um, I feel like most people I talk to, that's like the one high class in high school that they hated. Um, so we're gonna try to undo some of that. So I think that's it. Um, the, this class is gonna be great. I can't wait to meet all you guys virtually on Zoom. Um, our class will be, um, what, Tuesday, Thursday, five to 6.15. And we'll have three midterms and there'll be homework and all that. So in that regard, it'll be somewhat typical with like homework and midterms and stuff. But um, like I said, I'm, I'm excited to kind of explore some other ways to do this. And maybe that's the last thing I should mention is that none of your instructors have ever done this before, including myself. And so I'm hoping that this whole, I mean, education should be a dialogue and I'm hoping this whole semester is a dialogue, but especially this semester, whether it's me or any of your other instructors, please feel free to raise your hand and say, oh, by the way, um, what you're trying to do right now, I've got a tip for you, or here's a different way I've seen it work or whatever. So we're all gonna do Zoom and we're all gonna do online. Uh, de even, even the labs are gonna be online. But um, I always say that, I mean, there's 35 of you. There's no way me is smarter than all 35 of you. So your collective intelligence, I'm sure has a lot to add to the class. So um, please feel welcome to do that. Okay, I think that's it. Um, I can't wait to see everyone on Tuesday. Please reach out to me. I, my email is probably somewhere on Colab um, or I'll, I'll post a syllabus at some point. Um, reach out to me if you have any questions or comments or anything. And thanks.